Hello, JP here, and welcome to this tutorial to learn about Jigless Welding Programming with Visual Components OLP products. When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy, and if the Download Files option appears, you can download the example files. In this tutorial, we will use the assembly operations tool to create an assembly and we will use this welding robot to tag weld the parts together. There are no jigs used, so the manipulator robot will hold the parts in place while the welding robot does the tag welds. This tutorial is a continuation of our robotics assembly operations tutorial and will not go so much into details about basics of how to use the assembly operations tool, but will focus more on the syncing between these two robots. So if you want to learn about the basics of using the assembly operations tool, go check the robotics assembly operations tutorial from our academy. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Okay, let's start. So we already have here a program for assembling the first part which is the bottom plate. Let's run the simulation and see how it goes. The robot grabs the part from the pallet, drops it to the re station, grabs it again and releases it on the workpiece position. Now we must create a similar set for the second part, which is the side plate. First, let's create a new sub-program for the part B. And then we'll use the assembly operations tool to create the first grab statement. So we'll pick the grab position and then we'll go to the database tab and apply a template which we have for picking the parts from the pallet. Then we can proceed to creating the release statement. So we click create release statement, select release and select aligned regrab station. Then we select the regrab station from the drop down menu Click Add Alignment Points, select Face for the Snap Type and select the bottom and two sides of the part. Now we can click Add Alignment Points button again and select the configuration from the drop down menu. Let's see how the configuration looks. It looks ok, so we can close this panel, go back to our Create Release Statement panel and click Save Current Positions and create release statement. And there is our release statement. Now we must remember to apply the right template for it and it's good to go. Okay, now we will create grab statement to pick up the part from the re station. So we select the assembly operations tool from the hover panel and pick a grab position. Let's apply the pick from re template to it and move straight to creating the release statement. So we click create release statement and this time we select assembly. Now we must define to which assembly we are adding the part. So we first click this select from 3D world icon here and then select our assembly. Then we select which part we are adding. Normally it's the first one on the list and that seems to be right in this case also. So we can click create. Okay. Now it seems that our track position is not the best possible. Let's apply the assemble template to it. Now it looks a lot better. But we still have to fix our approach direction since the part cannot be assembled from that direction. So we go to the release tab and to the approach section and let's select custom and click set direction. Now we select the bottom plate to get the approach direction correct and now it is just like we want it to be. But we want the welding robot to tag weld these parts together before the manipulator robot releases the part. So to achieve that we need to add two sync statements to the release point of the release statement. One for the welding robot to know when to start welding and one for the manipulator robot to know when the weld is completed. So we go to the process tab and find the release point. We already have the, the goal for the release part. Let's start by removing that and adding a sync statement. The sync message could be 
for example, do that. And then we must select which component are we syncing with. So we click the select from 3D world icon here and select the welding robot. Then we add the other sync statement, give it a sync message tag done. And once again, click the select from 3D world icon and select the welding robot. And now we can add the call for the release part so that the magnet grappler releases the part after the tag welds are done. Okay, now we still have to save these settings to a new template so that we can easily use these same settings for the remaining parts also. Let's call this template Assemble with Sync and click the Save button. Next, we will create the program for the welding robot. Let's create a new sub program and give it a name. Then we will add the sync statements to this program. So we'll select sync statement from here and we will give it exactly the same sync message that we used in our previous sync statements. So the sync message for this first one is do tag and then we select the component to which we are syncing to. So it's our manipulator robot here. And then we add the second sync statement and the sync message for this one is tag done. And again, the component that we are syncing to is the manipulator robot here. Okay, now we can add the actual welds between these two sync statements. So we select the first sync statement and then we select the create path statement here. And let's add a short tag weld here and another path for the second weld here. Okay, now our program for the tag welding is completed and we just have to add a call for this sub program in the main program. And we also have to add a call for the sub program part B to the main program of our manipulator robot. And all done. Let's reset the simulation and run it to see how it works. So here comes the bottom plate and after that the side plate. And the manipulator robot should hold the side plate in place while the welding robot does the tag welds. Beautiful. So this is how the assembly operations tool can be used to create cyclic welding programs. The key element is the sync statements that make it easy to sync the operations of these two robots. We created the sync statements as a part of the assembly operations process. So now it would be really easy to create similar programs for the rest of the parts in the assembly. You just have to remember to apply the correct template when creating the release statements. And that way the sync statements are created automatically. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Try it on your side. I will also leave this example layout next to the tutorial on our academy. Thanks for watching and have a great day.